Harper and joining uh, us now, Times Managing Editor Rick Stengel, who is here to reveal the latest issue of Time Magazine. How will you be characterizing this story on the cover? Well, it is, it's an extraordinary story. It's an inflection point, I think, in our society. Uh, this headline is Gun Speech Madness, where we reckon with with the biggest issues, I think, that the, that the shooting threw up. Now, it has occasioned a national dialogue, but the national dialogue, frankly, is about the national dialogue. And I'm not saying that's unimportant, but the fact is we should be discussing gun control. We should be discussing the fact that starting in the 70s and 80s, we took mentally ill, we did not, we stopped taking mentally ill people off the streets and, and stopped putting them in institutions. Uh, there, the fact that coming out of this, all we can even talk about is making a, a gun magazine 10 bullets instead of 30 bullets. I mean, it's fine to talk about national but, but, discourse. But, but, but Rick, I mean, Tom Brokaw could tell you that we've had these conversations since 1968, and for the most part, Tom, over the past three or four, five, six, seven years, Americans have decided. They don't need Time Magazine telling them what they think about gun control. Well, I, I mean, here are the issues. But it's not, but Joe, it is not the American people who are making decisions about gun control. Oh, 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 it's yes, people it, in Congress yeah. who are making oh, decisions oh, yes, it about is. gun control. Yes, it is. Do you think Al Gore decided not to talk about gun control because he was worried about what people in Congress or the NRA said? No, he was worried about no, Tennessee. No, there were Democratic, he was worried about there were Democratic congressmen who were worried about not getting elected because they're in districts where people support gun control. But if you look at all the polls, about gun control. Do people support the, the assault be, uh, weapon ban? They have supported it consistently for 20 years. It lapsed, and then what happened? People are afraid to bring it up again. I mean, it's really, it's this, the, to have a national dialogue just about whether we have a violent national dialogue is fine. I mean, I would argue, I mean, crosshairs don't really make a difference. What really makes a difference is whether there's some you know, real life I, issues that we need Rick, to deal we, with here. we can talk about the reasons why, and we can study the reasons why, but I can tell you, I, I was in the middle of a gun control debate in 1998, and... Here's the, here's the, the fear it. is driven by the fact that Americans are inherently distrustful of gun control. There really is a difference between us. And, and we've been talking about how much we agree on different issues, but there really is a difference between us. And it's basically this. We don't think the government should be in control of all of this.